Hello everyone and welcome to the video with the recent Rivals trailer being released for the upcoming Dragon Ball Sparking Zero we now know how many characters are going to be presumably in the base game now it's going to be a while longer until we get all the characters revealed so in the meantime I figured I want to do a video showing the characters that I personally would add. So that said, that's, this is what this video is going to be. Do let me know if you agree or disagree with my list in the comments. And before we start, do make sure that you leave a like on, on the video, if I can say it, <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. About 50% of you watching this very part right now are not actually subscribed. So please do subscribe. I plan on covering this game in a great ton of detail countless videos so if you want to join me for that ride do subscribe and let's now get in to the list also quickly before we start just to make it slightly easier for me i've decided to go in order of the rows so starting from the top to the bottom rather than going in columns or like a random order or theming stuff so although these will be themed together as best as i can there may be a few random characters here and there so that's it let's start off with the first character which i would have thought would have been goku but maybe it will be i don't know but given that it's right by the z fighters i'm gonna put kid gohan here this is the kid gohan from the Saiyan saga the Saiyan uh, battles planet namek basically up until this gohan can turn super saiyan we then have a saber man because next up we have the first character revealed or rather the first on this list in order Yamcha, so Yamcha's there, great, can I get a like for Yamcha, then making his return into a Dragon Ball console game, last one he was in was, what was it, Ten it might have been Tenkaichi 3, we have Chiaotzu, next up we then have Tien, Nappa, then like I said it'll be a bit random, after Nappa I've got first form Freezer, second form Freezer, and third form Freezer, then we've got Kui, Zarbon, and Doria. Now, you could give Zarbon his monster form, but what I would say is, at least for this little section here, if you're going to give Yam Yamcha, if you can, <laughs> can you imagine, if you're going to give Zarbon his monster or his grotesque form, whichever one you want to call it, you need to get rid of either Kui or Chiaotzu. So, I think just to make this a bit of a more even section, just keep Zarbon in his base form and if his monster form isn't actually in the final game, or at least when it's released, I can't imagine it's going to be in later on as part of DLC. I, I just don't think they'll do that. Going into the second row now. Oh, Toki Senkai, Toki Senkai, Toki Senkai. We've got all five of the Ginyu Force. Goldo, Raccoon, Jace, Berta, and Captain Ginyu. You can change the order, it doesn't matter. Then keeping it with the theme of the Freezer Force, we've then got a pool, then the generic Freezer Soldier from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's not in and maybe give, a, give you know, like the shine to a different character. But I think they will probably put that in, to be honest, given it's a Tenkaichi game. We then have the next character that's already been confirmed, Final Form Freezer. Then I'll put in Max Power or Full Power, Final Form 3 to the buff version. Then also making his return. I'm fairly certain this will be him because it was in the teaser trailer via Tenkoichi 3 footage. We now have Mecha Freezer. Oh yes. Next up we have the return of the meme, Mid Goku. Great. Base form, Mid Goku. Then a few sort of random characters after him to finish off this role. I have got Nail and then Raditz from earlier. Well, just make it just it just makes sense to put Reddits here for this list for me. And then I've actually got DBZ Bardock. I think what they'll do, uh, I think, uh, yeah, so on this list at the moment, I do have Super Saiyan Bardock, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to add the DBZ version, probably the DBZ version, or the Dragon Ball Super version. But I have, again, I've got Super Saiyan, so you could honestly just give Bardock a both outfits and just call it a day, to be honest. But yeah, so that's it. That's that what I have for the second of 11 rolls. Going into the third roll now, we have starting off Dr. Jiro, also known as Android 20. It's the same thing. Then moving on to the next officially confirmed character, 
Krillin. Now, after Krillin, I have a uh, Master Roshi. Now, for this, I've just put it as Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Super. So you can either say from Resurrection of F and or from the Tournament of Power. It doesn't really matter. But then I'll give him, for the next character slot, his max power form or his buff form. And again, you can just give him different outfits if you really wanted to. I wouldn't go and give him different versions from like Dragon Ball, then from Dragon Ball Z, and then from Dragon Ball Super. Just give him one character slot and then a second one for his buff form. And then at most, give him different costumes and even maybe a Jackie Chun costume. But I don't think this necessarily should be a different character slot. Moving on from that, we then have Android 19, which if he is added, last game he was in, wasn't it Raging Blast 2 or Ultimate Tenkaichi? I forget. Then the next character we have, which is also confirmed, is Piccolo. Now, side note, I think I've only got Piccolo on this list once, so Orange Piccolo isn't on there. I think that'll probably be DLC because that will probably still be, as in Dragon Ball Super, Superhero will probably be the latest movie when this game comes out. So just keep that in mind right there. And moving on from Piccolo, we then have, unsurprisingly enough, in Perfect Cell, then Semi-Perfect Cell, then Android 16, then we have Android 18 already confirmed. Then I'll put, even though we've got Ranger 17 confirmed, I would add Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. But again, much like with Master Roshi, you could just put Ranger 17 in and give him his Z outfit. It, it really doesn't matter, to be honest. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and then after Android 17, we then have another character that's been confirmed, Mid Goku, Super Saiyan Mid Goku from Dragon Ball Z, fantastic. Then I've got Future Gohan, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, and as previously mentioned, Super Saiyan Bardock. Now, yes, Bardock is an uh, in canon, no one cares. But given most of the console games Bardock has been in recently, I want to say going back to Dragon Ball Z for Connect, which is a, a sentence, Bardock has had Super Saiyan, so you may as well keep the tradition, you know, the tradition up. You may as well. Wouldn't mind if they give him Super Saiyan 2 and 3, but I've not got that written down for this list, but that's why I have for the third row. In the fourth row, we have the first proper Dragon Ball character, that being Kid Goku. I've then also got great ape kid goku and going back to the very first character which is kid gohan naturally from dragon ball z you could also make this a copy and paste to some extent just change the name because when gohan and Go kid goku are in their great ape forms it's basically the same it's a it's an old zuru it's a great ape so do is that there's a bit of an asterisk then we've got demon king piccolo and I've got Cyborg Tail, which I know that's from like the Cell Saga. Mercenary Tail as well. You can have it as the same character, different outfit if you want. Then moving forward, a bit random, we then have base form Team Gohan. Not in Xenoverse, which is hilarious. <laughs> then Super Saiyan 1 Team Gohan. Then, of course, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. Oh, Masaya. Okay. Then moving on there, somewhat themed, we then have a Cell Junior and... It would look well, it looks like this like close to each other on the list, I'm sure, or on like the image. But we then have on the website, it's it's called complete cell, it's final form cell. But now I've also got after that full up power cell, which is naturally him after cell returns after unsuccessfully trying to um destroy himself uh, with Goku or destroy the earth on King Kai's plate. That's when he returns and defeats or death beams. Trunks and a Vegeta gets to be angry. Then we have the next character that's already confirmed, Super Saiyan Vegeta. It's specifically Super Saiyan Vegeta uh, from the first half of Dragon Ball Z. Then the next character confirmed, which is just on the website referred to as Super Vegeta. So I guess this is Ascended Super Saiyan. It's the slightly buffer version, but not quite Ultra Super Saiyan. Then moving forward a bit now, I've got base form Gold 10, Super Saiyan Gold 10, Base form Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Trunks. We will have Gold Tanks on the following row. And moving on to row five, we have a bit of a random pick here, I think. DBZ King Vegeta. Now, again, much like with Bardock, I don't think we're going to get both King Vegeta and DBS King Vegeta. And I've not got his great hate form, but if they give it to him, I wouldn't mind. It was in Tenkoji 3. So for King Vegeta, I'll just call him maybe King Vegeta and then just give him both his outfits. I prefer the DBS one from Dragon Ball Super Broly, but whatever. Next up, we then have Piccolo Jr. and Spike the Devilman. 
I don't think Devilman's gonna be in it. I really don't. I've only put him on here because uh, as a bit of a mean character, and I just want to have um, his voice go, his voice starting going, ooh, ooh, when he charges up, like in Tenkaichi 3. Then we have Grandpa Gohan, and that is actually going to be the last character from the original Dragon Ball series that's going to be on this list. Moving forward now to a movie from Dragon Ball Z, Android 13 and Super Android 13. I haven't got Android 14 or 15. He sends his regards. If you know, you know. Then the next character confirmed, we have Scale to Vegeta and Great Ape Vegeta. Still happy that giants are confirmed. Fantastic. Then moving forward to the Grand Tour, we then have Base Form GT Trunks as well as Super Saiyan GT Trunks and then Dragon Ball GT's version of Pan. Then going back a bit to the next officially confirmed character, we have Vegeta, base form from the first half of Dragon Ball Z. Then we've got future Super Saiyan Trunks. So no, we don't. We have future base form Trunks, then Super Saiyan Trunks. But it does say on the website, this is the fighting version. I don't know. It might be a mistranslation or translations just being very whatever. Then, as I said previously, we then we now have uh, Gold Tanks, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, base form Gold Tanks, then Super Saiyan Gold Tanks, then Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks. And if you guys remember, Gold Tanks, at least in the series, didn't use, or at least not properly use, Super Saiyan 2. So, naturally, let's just skip that. We're now about halfway through, so let's now jump forward to, a, well, a little bit to the Boo Saga. We have base form Adult Gohan, Super Saiyan Adult Gohan, and ultimate gohan super saiyan 2 will be in the next row so don't worry about that so again base form adult gohan and super saiyan 1 then ultimate gohan or mystic gohan as he's unofficially known as then videl and videl's there because the next character is the next confirmed character hercule now after hercule i've got a bit of a random pick and that's and i really hope he's in that's Herudigan from the wrath of the dragon dragon ball z movie i don't have tapion on this list unfortunately so do keep that in mind. And this is just final form Herudigan, not his incomplete or his bottom half. Then the next officially confirmed character, DBZ Goku from the first half. And then a bit of a random pick here, but I couldn't think of a better place to put him. We've then got Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. Oh yes, we do. Next officially confirmed character, Super Saiyan Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super. And then base form Vegeta also from Dragon Ball Super. Then, to keep in the theme of it, I've then got Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, then Vegeta from DBZ, Super Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z as well, uh, Vegeta, so Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super, then Vegeta Blue, and to kind of fit in with the theme of somewhat fusions, we then have Super Gogeta, that's Super Gogeta from the Fusion Reborn. Dragon Ball Z movie. Onto the seventh list now, looking number seven, or the seventh row rather. As I already mentioned for this previous row, we now have starting off Super Saiyan 2 Adult Gohan. Then the next officially confirmed character as of right now is Vegeta from the end of Z, or rather from late Z. Then I've got the Great Saiyan Man. Now for the Great Saiyan Man, naturally this is Gohan. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, <laughs> I would make it so he can't transform or anything like that but i'd make him so he is his own unique character obviously give him a kamehameha if you want give him victory rush just his combo something like that but this should be a character that is completely unique and not just gohan in a different costume right if you want to give the outfit without the mask to gohan give it to adult gohan like it's the like when he goes for like the flushing kamehameha to try and wake up margin boo Great cutscene, by the way. <laughs> cutscene. <laughs> Great scene, by the way. But these should be separate characters with their own unique moveset. If not, then I don't think this character should be in. It has to be more unique than just Gohan with a bandana on, right? Then we've got Shin. I feel like Shin probably will be in because of Dragon Ball Daima. Also, I've not got any Dragon Ball Daima characters on this list. That's probably going to be DLC. Let's be it. Let, you know, let's be fair. Then the next character is Margin Buu. Then Margin Buu, well, because of Margin Buu, we've then got Super Buu, Kid Buu, and Buuhan. I've not put pure evil Buu here. I wouldn't mind if he's in. He was in Tenkaichi 3, but we know not every single character from Tenkaichi 3 is going to be in Sparking Zero, at least not in the base game because about 40 characters have already been revealed and there's only three, four, five more characters in Sparking Zero than what there were in Tenkaichi 3. So at this point, 
at least in the base game, it's actually impossible. Now, DLC is a thing, so do keep that in mind. After Buhard, we then have God of Destruction Beerus himself. Yes, we do. Then Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Vegeta, both confirmed. And then I've got DBS Gogeta, base form, Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan Blue. Then Pycon, then Whiz. Then I've got Janemba's final form, so not his yellow form, which is like a giant character. If he's in it, great, but I think I'm probably not going to do it. Again, if they do, I'd, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Moving on, we've got a few other characters already confirmed. These are Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta from late Dragon Ball Z. Then, of course, because we had Shin earlier, we might as well throw in Kabito. And Kabito Kai, I think, yes, he's later on. So Kabito there. Then late Z, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then... Let's move on to Super, base form, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and Super Saiyan God Goku. The two latter of Super Saiyan Blue and God Goku, already confirmed. Then we have Ultra Instinct Goku. We had Ultra Instinct sign earlier. We now have the, what is it, autonomous, dumb name, the silver-haired Ultra Instinct, right? Now, with that said, I do believe Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is going to be a technique or something that Goku in his blue form uses because that's not a separate character that's not its own thing so I'll just keep that in mind right there so it looks like Kaioken is going to be a technique rather than a transformation like how it is in for example the Xenoverse games after all Trinity and Goku I then have the Dragon Ball Super version of Final Form Freezer, then Golden Freezer this is pretty much from the Tournament to Power with and or without a Halo different presets like how Gogeta works, Super Gogeta works in Xenoverse. Have one preset with the Halo if you want, and another preset or costume without it, or have the accessory so you can add or remove a Halo from anyone. Cool, good stuff there. Then the next character, which has already been officially confirmed, Ranger 17, or rather Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super. Then let's go off to Dragon Ball GT for a brief moment and have base form GT Goku, Super Saiyan 1 GT Goku, Super Saiyan 3 GD, uh, GD, GT Goku, with a tongue twister there, and naturally, of course, it wouldn't be a, game, a sparking game without him, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We have three rolls left, the 9th, 10th, and the 11th roll. So starting with the 9th roll, we have the next character officially confirmed, Margin Vegeta. So naturally, this is going to be... Actually, I forget... And it's probably been shown in, in the video already. Is Margin Vegeta a transformation or is it just his own separate character? I forget. But then I've actually got Super Android 17, naturally from Dragon Ball GT. Then we've got the next character confirmed, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, not Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Goku from late Dragon Ball Z. Then we've also got base form Goku, also from late DBZ. Then, as we've already had Kibito and Shin, you might as well finish it off with Kibito Kai. Please have mid-battle fusion to return. Oh, yes. Then we've got Super Saiyan Goku from Dragon Ball Super. Base form Goku from Dragon Ball Super. Then I've got, and I'll be surprised if this character isn't included, base form Brody from the legendary Super Saiyan Brody movie. Super Saiyan Brody. Then, of course, legendary Super Saiyan Brody. I feel, I feel like at least Legendary has to be in. Then we've got GT Vegeta from, well, base form GT Vegeta. But then I've got Super Saiyan 1 GT Vegeta. I would only have Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2, to be honest. But then, of course, we've got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta afterwards. Then the next character, which has already been confirmed, we have base form Brody from the Dragon Ball Super Brody movie. Even though this is, I think, his Ikari or whatever you want to call it, his Rage or Fury form. But the website just says... Broly, or base Broly, that's what it says. Then uh, one character that probably, well, it, I can confirm it right now. Then the next character I would add would be Full Power Super Saiyan Broly from, of course, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. You've got base form and Super Saiyan. It would be a tragic, I can't even say, it'll be, it'll be a shame if they didn't add Full Power Super Saiyan Broly. I think they're probably going to. And the second to last roll, roll 10, we have Omega Shenron. And side note, this is the only Shadow Dragon I would pull in. Seen Shenron, which is basically Omega Shenron anyway. 
as well as Ice and Null Shenron are the more notable ones, but I don't think I'm gonna add all seven. So I'll just you know, have Omega Shenron in, maybe a different costume, that's Shin Shenron. I, it doesn't matter to be honest. Then of course, if I'm gonna have Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Vegeta, and Omega Shenron, you have to have Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. Oh yes. Then the next character which has already been confirmed, we have uh, Super Saiyan Goku from Late Z. Again, even they've made it all in like a different order because we've already had Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now we're going back to the end of Z. <laughs> then we've got, you know, the characters I would add, Zamasu, then Fuse Zamasu, and then Corrupted Zamasu with like all grotesque, we're going to call him. And I'd make him act more like a giant character. Obviously, don't make him giant like a great out, just like bigger than what Brody would be, right? Great stuff there. Then we've got going, well, staying with the uh, Dragon Ball Super. I've got Topo, then God of Destruction in training, or whatever it's called, Topo, Hikoshin. Then the next character confirmed is Jiren. And of course, I think we're going to probably get full power Jiren. Rather nice there. And to finish off the main guys in the Pro Troopers, we've then got Dispo. I would add him in. Uh, his supersonic mode, I think that's basically something that they just did for Xenoverse. I know he did it in the series. But I feel like if he does have something like this in Sparking Zero, it won't be a different form. It'll be more so a technique like Kyle Ken and Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken. So a bit of a bonus one there. Okay. Next character confirmed. A bit of a weird one. It's the website says it's Super Saiyan Future Trunks, naturally from Dragon Ball Super. But I think this is technically Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. But if it's just well going off the website, if this is Super Saiyan Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Super, I'll then also add base form future trunks and then base form super <laughs> base form trunks from dragon ball super if i can say it wow <laughs> then super sane rage future trunks of course also from dragon ball super and the final role now role 11 i feel like a lot of people i'm gonna get a little bit upset over this but oh well um <laughs> we then have base form kaba super sane one kaba Base form Khalifa, Super Saiyan 1 Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, Base form Kale, Berserk Kale, which is like her form that resembles legendary Super Saiyan, then Super Saiyan 2 Kale, which I guess is like the, well, you know why it's if you play Xenoverse, it's the, I guess, quote unquote, controlled Berserk legendary form, whatever. Uh, then we've got Super Saiyan Kefla, no base Kefla. Then I've got Super Baby Vegeta 2, so that's his main form before he turns into Great Ape. Then the final confirmed character on this role so far, Ugamo, and we've got one space left, and I personally would add Golden Great Ape Baby Vegeta. Yes, no dangerous trio, but again, it, it, it really is a case of, with certain characters like GT Vegeta, as well as Kaba, Kale, and Khalifa, well, not, not, not Kale, sorry, but some of them don't need both Super Saiyan 1 and 2, in my opinion, to play differently. But yeah, that's what I'd have for the 11th row. And that is my roster pick for the upcoming Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Where's Gohan Beast? Where's Cell Max? Where's Orange Piccolo? Great questions. Look, I was going into this thing going one of two ways. Either we don't put any Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball characters in, or we try and spread everything out so it covers some of Dragon Ball, a lot of Dragon Ball Z, a lot of Dragon Ball Super, and some of Dragon Ball GT. Given we ne well, assuming these are the amount of characters that's going to be in the base game, excluding DLC, you just have to make a few sacrifices. For example, you know, we don't have first form Baby Vegeta, but we have Final Four and then Golden Great Ape. But again, there's only so much you can do when we know how many characters are going to be in the game when it's released. Still a handful more than what Tenkoji 3 has. But if I've missed a character, do let me know in the comments. But there is a good chance that, that character will probably be either in the game anyway. <laughs> or it'll be in the game as part of the ton of DLC this is obviously going to get. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. More videos on the screen right now. And I will see you on one of these videos in just a moment.